Another session of the Iowa law enforcement classes are underway at Western Iowa Tech Community College. And who's taking those classes is changing. As KCA United's Jessica Watson explains, a growing number of women are working to wear a badge. She joins us live in the newsroom tonight with her top story at 6. Jessica? Tim, just last week, J.C. Vandenberg officially became a part of the Lamar's Police Department, becoming the department's third female officer ever. And if trends continue, I assure you, she won't be the last. I've been in law enforcement for a short while, but a lot of people know people at Lamar's and they, they speak very highly of them, so it's exciting. J.C. Vandenberg has a passion for law enforcement, receiving a degree in criminal justice from Northwestern College in May. Uh, I've worked with a lot of great women that are in the law enforcement area uh, and I think JC will be a very uh, good addition to the Lamar's Police Department. JC is just one of many women who have decided to dedicate their lives to police work. I'll be going into my 24th year of law enforcement so to see it continue getting bigger for women is a great thing. Donald Sassman says there are 15 women in the Sioux City Police Department which is above the average of 10% for most departments. I mean, I thought it was great when I started and the women before me would say the same thing I'm saying now, that it needs to keep growing and it needs to keep getting bigger. So I'm happy to see it continuing down this path. And it's been really cool to see the different ways a male versus a female approaches a job. Um, there's strengths in both. Officer Sassman says she has never had problems with coworkers in her field, but she does have some advice for new female officers. I would just tell her to keep grinding away at it. You might have to do things two or three times better than the male officers, but they will respect you. JC says she still has six months of training to go, but she couldn't be more excited to keep Lamar's safe. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News. All right, thanks, Jessica, for that.